Welcome to Stories of Hope. I'm Christine Hotchkiss. Each week, I bring you stories that will inspire you, educate you, and give you hope. I want to thank my studio sponsor, The Motivated Mind Group, your global creative agency based right here in downtown Chandler. Today, my guest is Dan Zimmerman. In 2005, he suffered a stroke to the result of HHT, and I'll ask him to tell us what that is. He's also the founder of the organization Spokes, Fighting Strokes. Please help me welcome my guest today, Dan Zimmerman. Welcome, Dan. Pleasure to have you interview me. You were tagged on one of the platforms that I am on, and someone said, I think you need to talk to this individual so he can share his story as a survivor of strokes, of a stroke, and what he's doing with it, not just locally, but throughout the United States, I said, ah, oh, give me his number. And so here we are today. So thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, we are now I know that you're not in Arizona. Where are you? Uh, Albuquerque. Okay, I'm sure it's just as nice there as it is here today. So your, your stroke was a result from HHT, as you just tried to explain to us. Um, and in here it says that your recovery was difficult and took a long time. And yeah. you weren't able to do many things that were previously considered obtainable. Where were you that you had the stroke? Because I, we could be doing anything and have a, a, a wonderful day and all of a sudden something changes. What were you doing that you, that you had this stroke? Uh, sipping coffee one day after uh, Thanksgiving. Something so simple, and we always say the simplest things will get you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I had a work off, and my uh, uh, girlfriend had work off, and thankfully, she not uh, called nine one one. Okay. Now your recovery, it said, was difficult. You want to walk us through uh, being what that difficulty well, was? Well, uh, I woke up 10 days later, uh, no movement, right side, no talking. And wow, I just uh, paralyzed and uh, scared and a uh, doctor told me wheelchair for life and no talking. I believed them four long years and in weight 65 pounds mm. and uh, no talking. So uh, mad. Oh my God really mad uh i'm watching my fortune disappear daily so um i shut the business down uh trying to uh survive and one night i got up, bathroom, heard my heart beating loudly, both ears, and I can't survive another stroke. So I immediately, uh, next day, I wanted uh, um, push, I mean, Lowdown. Uh, I bought my first trike hmm. and a uh, couple just hard, can't walk right and talk right, and um, uh, Sun 
trite. Um, 63 pounds and plus me overweight uh, so I began to uh, ride faithfully every day and come uh, voice come back uh, maybe uh, one and a half years riding. So Dan, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I want to stop here for just a second. You talked about gaining the weight. That sounds like there was a very depressive time in your life when you were told that you were going to have to be in a wheelchair, that you weren't going to be able to yep. speak. And you believe someone that said, you can't do this. And I hear a lot of people say, we don't realize how strong we are. And yes, we can listen to other people, but it's what we actually believe. And it sounds like you were not going to believe this. You did for, what, you said four years? Yep. yep. Uh, I, w I looked, uh, looked, I mean, uh, what? forget okay. it. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. Don't be frustrated. We're fine. Um, when you talked about the, uh, the four years and you sat at home and you shut your business down, were you going through any sort of physical rehab or any uh, occupational or anything like that to be able to talk and to uh, walk as you do? Uh, or did you do it all yourself? Uh, four months rehab, but I can't uh, afford to have um, therapy. Okay. I'm uh, no, no, I mean, uh, uh no income. Yeah. So I drop out therapy and mm -hmm. um, I now uh, therapy myself. My yeah. program is working. So is that what you take into this uh, organization that you founded, which is Spokes Fighting Strokes? Yep. And uh, we um, show people, stroke survivors, brain injuries, Parkinson's, a form of safety exercise, uh, fun, trying is uh, riding fun and uh, um, uh, freedom okay. and independence. I used to ride a motorcycle a few years ago and I felt that same statement of the freedom and so I can relate when you're saying it that you're on a trike. And there are different things that people find a freedom in whatever that they do, if it's an outdoor sport or you know kayaking or paddle boarding and bicycling, motorcycle, whatever it is. And that is a freedom and an independence. And I'm sure that's a time frame you were able to actually think more about where you once were and where you are. And I'm going to assume how you can help other people through your own journey. Yeah, uh, it takes a while to uh, learn how to safely uh, do the trike. Mm -hmm. And um, I started Spokes uh, nine and a half years ago. Wow. And uh, today I uh, travel around the country and show people uh 15 trikes in my trailer oh you do so uh handicap uh pedals and uh uh right hand or left hand controls so All, adapt adaptive uh, yes yeah okay yeah. And so you're going all around the country versus staying in one place. Why is that? Uh, I started this in Arizona, mm -hmm. but I can't uh, teach survivors 
uh, to Han and uh, traveled, uh, she used to be traveling to uh, Colorado, mm-hmm. but people uh, want me to uh, start spokes in their town and now I uh, travel a circuit uh, 11 or 12,000 miles. Wow. Uh, so when you're, when you're meeting these individuals, first, how are you meeting them? Are, you, uh, are they people that are on social media? Are they through organizations in each of these different communities in the circuit that you talked about? How are you meeting these people? Uh, stroke to fibers groups or brain injuries okay. or uh, sometimes I ride into rehab, ride in the uh, uh, rehab, nobody uh, freak you out and uh, uh, works. You know, um, today I uh, rode into uh, Loveland. Oh, Loveland, okay. Uh, so now when you meet up with these people, do you have like a trail that you take them on? How, what is the, yeah. what is it that you're doing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, Phoenix has uh, Tempe trails, uh, Scottsdale's trails, uh, protected, uh, no cars. So I ride, uh, teach them how to try no cars. Okay. And how big of a group do you have, uh, or is it just depend on how many people come to you? Um, uh, maybe, uh, Tempe, uh, last, uh, time, uh, six or eight, but, uh, Tucson, 20 something, uh, per week. Wow. And, uh, Colorado, uh, uh, 20 and, you know, just all around the country. Good for you. Do you have any some do you have any stories or a particular story that sticks out in your mind about someone who may have just come out mm-hmm. of um, the rehab and wanted to getting back out into doing exercise and being out into yeah. the, the world uh, having had a stroke? Yes. Uh, Jake, uh, young kid, uh, 22, wow. I believe, uh, three ha- uh, he had a uh, operation and uh, three strokes afterwards. At 22? Yes. Wow. And um, met uh, Jake parents brought me, I mean, uh, Jake to a uh, clinic, uh, my clinic, and uh, helped uh, with transferring out of the wheelchair, and uh, Jake uh, doesn't know um, he uh, non, um, mindset, you know, just, uh, not sure. And so, uh, first trike ride, a par- uh, around a parking lot and he grinned Year to year, that's great. Uh, one 
uh, foot working, pedal one fifth foot and uh, freedom. So now uh, two or three, no, four years later, out of his how uh mother's house owns uh um condo and uh works and rides all the time wow uh he doesn't uh ride with us too old folks Okay. So he now gets to help other people on a path that he was not happy about and shows them yeah. that there's still uh, a yeah. joy in living, even though he's had a stroke. And 22 is a young age. Yep. I had a first stroke uh, 27. Wow. So can you tell me more about the HHT being that it's hereditary is what you said? Yep. Um, uh, best look it up. Uh, Google it. Just uh, uh, hereditary disease. I have uh, nine operations on my lungs. Mm. And uh, ABMs grow in my lungs and rob the uh, percentage of uh, oxygen. Mm -hmm. Wow. So how do you feel about what you're doing as far as your spokes for stroke, uh, uh, spokes fighting strokes? That's a lot to say, mind you, so I'm sorry I messed it up. <laughs> Uh, good. I just, uh, wonderful people, uh, all around helping, uh, normal people, uh, helping, uh, me to, uh, take, uh, trikes out and, um, uh, community, uh, sense of community. Uh, I love that word. I love that word community. I, it's it's not just the area in which you live, it's the people that come together no matter where you're at. And I love that you use that because you're doing something that is not local as, it, as you started it here in Arizona, but we're talking right now with you being in New Mexico and you've already talked about Colorado and other places that you have gone. If someone wants to be able to know more about the organization, are you able to go to other places? I don't know what the circuit is because you did mention you have a circuit. Yes, they can go to your website and contact you, but yeah. what's to say that there's a distance? Is there a distance that you won't travel to help? Uh, uh, 50 miles uh, around the uh, 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 route. Okay. I have a route on the website okay. uh, uh, click on 2023 so I can't uh, uh, imagine um, I can't uh, explain to you okay. all the uh, cities Okay, well, as long as they're available and people know that they're available, that's all that I was making sure of. Now, do you maintain yeah. the bikes yourself? Uh, no, um, I uh, change the uh, tires uh, flat myself, but every uh, shop I um, uh, take to Colorado, uh, um, here, two wheel, uh, drive, okay. uh, trike chop. Okay. So 
Yeah. Perfect. Thank I you. not. Uh, uh, I have one hand, so I can't. Uh, uh, Do it yourself. Okay, makes sense. Well, I could, but it takes, takes a time. long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On your journey of this, um, that the stroke that you're on to recovery, what was the most difficult part for you? Uh, talking. Talking. And, uh, um, I had a, or have aphasia, and sometimes uh, gets the best of me. Okay. And you know, uh, early on. Um, talking, um, embarrassing, just downright embarrassing. Um, I look at my couch, but fish comes out. <laughs> I, I just. So you had to uh, relearn. You had to relearn. A lot of different things, not just how to speak yeah. it. Okay. The way to speak. Spelling. Yeah. Yes. The things we take for granted, right? The little things. Yeah. Being able and to speak, talk, and walk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I talk. Uh, uh, I walk fine, but I use um, hard to walk distance. My legs fill up my uh, blood. Oh, I wow. have a uh, circle, a uh, circle stockings okay. on. Uh, so support hose. Uh, painful uh, walking uh, around, but gotcha. I have uh, my trike and legs up, uh, even with my heart, and no problem, uh, 50 miles a day. Good. On uh, some of these trails, and I should have asked this a little while ago, and I didn't think anything of it. On some of these uh, trails that you already have set up, are they um, like sidewalk trails? Are they off-road trails? Are they, I mean, what kind of trails do you take your uh, other stroke survivors? Um, paved trails, paved trails, or concrete. Paved, okay, okay. Uh, no cars. Okay, okay. Thank you for sharing that with me. Before I ask my final question, is there anything that you want to share about your organization that I did not ask about? Uh, I need sponsors. Okay. Uh, I just, uh, big uh, sponsors. Um, I pay for a lot of spokes uh, built on myself. Well, I'll see what I can do as far as spreading the word and sharing this uh, interview as well as um, letting people know that you're out there because I don't think there's a lot of people that know that you're out there and that's why I do what I do is a lot of organizations maybe small or startup or they're in a community that people don't know that there's a resource within you know a short distance of where they're at so hopefully this will help you on that on that path and that journey of finding sponsors thank you yes thanks so I have a final question and the question I always ask is one that if I only had one question to ask to know about someone or think I know about someone, it would be this. What message would you like to leave everyone about your, let me try this again. What message would you like to leave based on your journey of your life? Don't give up. Ah. You made that clear when you said you were told that you were not going to be able to walk or talk, you're going to be in a wheelchair, and you believed it for four years. And then you yep. said no more. Wow. That's pretty powerful to think that you could listen to somebody's thought, opinion, and then you just proved them wrong because you took control yep. of your own and said, I'm not going to give up on this. I'm giving up on myself, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
Well, thank you. Thank you for being my guest and sharing your journey and sharing what your organization is doing, not just locally, but anywhere that it's, it's needed. Yeah, thank you. Yes. I want to thank my studio sponsor, The Motivated Mind Group, the global creative agency based right here in downtown Chandler. If you have a story you want to share or know someone who has a story that would help someone else on their journey of their life, please email me to the address of stories at christinehotchkiss.com. And if you'd like to be a sponsor, you may also email me to the address of stories at christinehotchkiss.com. Until next time, everyone, I wish you well, and you take care. Mm -hmm.